I don't know what to say. Today, I, I, I'm usually looking forward to these reviews, but today, uh, this one I'm not. Why not? What's the problem with this guy? Well, last time I had Royal High, I think it was some sort of skunk strain, like super skunk or something like that. And it was such a letdown. Even the pouch though, makes me feel like, it, like this looks like a cool pouch. Like it's got a little, whoa, you know, it's got a little slippy slide. But this, so, you know what, I don't know. We're, I, I don't know, we'll see. So today we're reviewing Royal High's Northern Lights. As soon as you hear the name, you're like, wow, a legacy strain. This is gonna be badass. Legacy Northern Lights. Whoa, hey, the green, man, the green, man. It's got 12% THC, 0% CBD. It's got a gram in here. Let's see what we've got. We'll be back in 20 minutes after I figure out this child lock. Certain children's shit isn't easy. They broke it in my weed package. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this is beautiful, beautiful weed. Beautiful, beautiful weed. Ooh, this is nice. This smells nice. What does that smell like? Wow, man, like a f like fine leather, dude. Whoa. I'm actually so blown away that I'm like gonna read to make sure this is still that company Royal High. Like I don't even believe that it's that company that, that also made Super Skunk or whatever. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna even crack the nug. That's how much I'm enjoying the smell of this Northern Lights. This is, wow, keeping true to the strain, man. It smells like a fine leather if a skunk owned the car. Think about that. Imagine a skunk drove a Ferrari with nice brown leather. So it has that skunky smell with the fine leather in it. That's a real smell, man. That's as, that's as good of a smell you're gonna get in any of my reviews. Wow, fine leather with skunk. And he has like, oh man, he has like, he has like a bouquet of roses in the trunk, man. And, oh yeah, you get hints of oh like roses. Wow, man, that's such good smelling weed. Royal Highs Northern Lights. You, I, I, I don't, it's not, I don't even have to smoke it to tell you that that's gonna taste great. I'm about to smoke it and it's gonna like burn my eyes. I'm bleeding in the lungs. <laughs> now that was good. That smelled amazing. Wow, dude. Damn, son. I'm so excited to smoke this now. That's so funny. I love when the reviews are like this. At first, I'm like, this sweet's gonna be shit. And then it's good. All right, <laughs> we're back. And you're like, wait a minute, how did that weed get in the paper, man? How did that, oh, it's TV magic, man. Wait, you don't think that I can just have this rolled? You think you have to watch me roll it? Watch this. Oh! All right, here we go. The classic Mike Rita dry heave test. Mm. Wow, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shout them out one more time. Royal High's Northern Lights stays true to the strain. It looked nice, it tastes nice. The dry heave, one of the truest tests of flavor in your joint. It passed it with flying colors. I, I wanna do it again, because it's so nice. I feel like it would even make as a nice clone. Like if you went out, and, and, you're, and someone's like, ooh, dude, you smell nice, what is that? And you'd be like, it's La Chronique by Calvin Klein. It's <laughs> very exclusive. But in reality, it's just you smoking this dank ass weed in your car. Your fine leather Italian car. The whole car is leather. Suspension, engine. <laughs> it sounds awful. <laughs> My fine leather car. The windows are leather. <laughs> we crash every day. The initial taste test is kind of, it's kind of whatever. It tastes like a wet strawberry. You ever eat a strawberry right after you wash it and the first bite is watered down because it's full of water on the other side? That's what it tastes like, for real. Man, it's kind of burning black too. This fucking company's always got something wrong with it, these sons of a, you get excited. You think they hit the mark and now it's burning black. This Royal High, man. You can't trust this shit. It looked good, it smelled good, it kind of smokes bad. And that's the most important part. Having a nice car ain't worth shit if the car won't turn on and drive, and this car ain't driving. Oh 
Look, that's a bad sign. I had to relight it. I also did just get into a full-on fight with this joint saw. I mean, I guess you could say I knocked its lights out. I'm gonna give it a 6.5, maybe a seven out of uh, 10. The smell was amazing, the look was great, it broke up nice, it rolled nice. It just kind of tokes whatever and it kind of goes out a bit quick, like it's already out probably, let's check. It is out, you see that? It was out and I just lit it. So, whatever. It's just not a great burning weed. Does anybody here know the price? 16.15 a gram is like $160 and like, I don't know, a lot of cents or some shit. Okay, it's like a, whatever, you know, like a dollar fifty or some shit after that. So it's like, yeah, a dollar, a hundred and like sixty-one fifty. That's too much for 10 grams. Think about that. That's more than a day's work of minimum wage. That's wild. All right, so my final thing is I give this thing a three. I just don't think it's worth it. I think that uh, Royal High keeps letting me down. I, I think the only thing royal about them is that just like the royal family, they're frauds and they're unimportant to the current system that we live in. That's the most royal thing about them is that they're not up with the times anymore. Royal high, more like royal letdown. $16 plus a gram is way too much um, and the weed's just not worth it. Oh man, my cell phone is ringing on set so I'm gonna go take that phone call. That's been your review. Thanks so much everybody. Peace.